This video is proving trig identities. Number one, there's other trig identities video, but this is the first one. The trig identity we're trying to prove is sine squared x plus two cos squared x minus one equals cos squared x. The first thing to do is write left side, right side, and split it into those two pieces. On the left hand side, we have sine squared x plus two cos squared x minus one. And on the right hand side, we have cos squared x. Now, they'll now be separate pieces with a line down the middle. Put an E equals here. You should have your formula sheet handy, something that looks a bit like that, or hopefully a lot like that. So, I need to find what to do here. I've got sine squared x plus 2 cos squared x. I know that I just want cos squared x at the end. And so, the best thing to do, I think, is going to be rewrite sine squared x, but then using your numeracy skills, notice that 2 cos squared x is the same as cos squared plus cos squared. And then the minus 1 is still there. Why is that good? Because we have a formula, sine squared plus cos squared. Look on your formula sheet. What's sine squared plus cos squared? It's over here. Sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. So using that formula or identity, you can replace all of this sine squared plus cos squared with just a 1. You get 1 plus cos squared x minus 1. And that's beautiful because what's 1 take away 1? Nothing. They cancel out and you're just left with cos squared x. And we've proven it. But you have to write a statement to the reader. And here's what I'd like you to write. Here's the format I prefer. I've proven it by getting left side equal to right side. So I put an upside down therefore. It's pronounced since. This symbol upside down therefore is since. So since left side equals right side, therefore, proven true. You can write it in a bit of a different format, but you need to tell me, look, I've proven the left side equals right side, and therefore, it's true. And that's how to do trig identities, with a nice simple one.